What's up, Soul Squad? What's up, my Soul Squad? Welcome to Friday. It's TGIF, baby. The weekend is here. But we're going to start this weekend dinner off right, okay? So you saw that thumbnail. You know what I'm doing. We doing some baked beans, some fried whitey fish, um, and some coleslaw. Man, that good old coleslaw, okay? Like KFC mate. So we gonna have us a good, good, good Friday night dinner. So guys, if you're new here, like the video, tell a friend to tell a friend, you know, hit the thumbs up, um, hit that, hit that notification bell, and enjoy the videos I got on here. I got my back door open, and it's a red robin. Oh, the weather. I ain't seen a blue jay in a long time. That red robin was so pretty. All right, guys, before we get started this video, you know what we got to do. Hit that intro! Bush's baked beans, but I had two cans of them. And like I can, I just make my baked beans. I don't measure. So for the sake of measuring, we can go about wait three teaspoons of um mustard. So they like that ting, that ting, right? I'm gonna use a half a stick of margarine, not butter. I'm going in with a half a stick. That's like four tablespoons of margarine. We're going to start off with a half a cup of white sugar, a half a cup of light brown sugar, and yeah, she used her hands for everything because I'm clean and I'm cooking for who? my family. I need to wash my hands real quick. I need to open up this molasses. We doing a little bit at a time. So we'll get the baked beans in the oven first. And then we're going to get the coleslaw mixed up in the refrigerator and then we'll start the fish last and i'm gonna use about one fourth cup of molasses this is molasses y'all and of course i'm still going to use some syrup that's about one fourth cup of syrup And this is going in the oven on 400. And this is my baked bean. My family love them. My children love them. And it's going to create so much juice from the sugar. Because I drain my beans. That's one thing because I don't like them to be so much liquid. I think people have so much liquid in their baked beans because they don't, um, they don't drain their beans. And guys, these are beans, so if they don't have enough sweetness, you can taste these before you can put them in the oven. Everything that you just put in here, you can taste. So if it's not enough sweetness for you, you know what to do. Start off with a little, and you add as you go on. So these are ready. Let me taste this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are ready for the oven. That quick. Baked beans going in. Be back with the Okay, cook. guys. I got a really big cat, big, big cabbage. If I went to store myself, it would have been little. But, that's neither here or there. I'm going to cut off the bottom part. I always cut this bottom part off my cabbage. This is what I do. So, we're going to start off 
what you need for your cabbage. We're not even gonna do the um, we're not even gonna do the um, the dressing yet. We're gonna do the cabbage. They, I wanted the bigger carrots. They gave me look, so I hope I don't shred my fingers all. <laughs> but we'll start off with the cabbage, the carrots, and the onion. And so, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start cutting the carrot. And this is the type of shredder. You need a shredder, something like this, because you're gonna shred it. We're not gonna make like a big, you know, with that KFC um, coleslaw. If you look at it, you see how very thin, ooh, it is shredded, right? Because I believe they use that right there. They don't chop it up. See, when I chop up cabbage, you know, I use a knife, so it don't matter how big, you know, you're chopping the stuff. But, cut this down as much as I can. Yes, y'all, we got to make that some homemade cold slaw, okay? Homemade cold slaw. Stuff there. So that's the side. I'm not using all that. So I'm gonna cut this into wedges. Like then I'm gonna take and cut again like this, so it'll be easier. And I'm using a bread knife. Yes, I just love the sharpness of a bread knife. I just love it. So what I'm going to do, let me get a bowl or a pan, and we're going to shred our cabbage into there. Okay, guys. Take your wedge, and let's shred some cabbage. Be careful with your hand. You got to be careful with your hand. And see, and this is what it's gonna look like. On that KSC cabbage look like that. That's what we look, that's what we're going for. And they're gonna need about three to four cups. But that depends. I'm using one cabbage. Everybody in my home don't eat. They'll do not eat coleslaw like me. I don't like coleslaw, I don't eat coleslaw. You with this routine, you have to be careful with your hands. I would say use a food processor, and this is the lowest I'm gonna get. I'm gonna toss that to the side. All the big ones that didn't. And this, 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 this is what you're looking at. So y'all know, this is about to be what? <laughs> this is about to be time consuming, guys. This is about to be time consuming, but you can do it. Hold it together. Yeah. About to be time consuming. But you can do all oh, you can buy the cabbage in the bag. Already feed done and call it a day. <laughs> and just use the sauce. Just use the um the dressing mix. I'm about to show you. It's up to you. But we getting it done. So when I come back, we're going to have this all graded. So guys, this is how far I got. And that's how much I have for a head of cabbage. So if you're making a lot of coleslaw, you're going to need at least about two heads of cabbage if you're going to grind it down like this. I'm still on my grind. I just want to let you guys know. Uh -huh. It is time consuming. But you can do it. You can get it done. Look at it. 
You can do it, guys. You can get it done. Don't give up. It's muscle work. Muscle work. Okay, guys. This will be working with, okay? Look at our cabbage. Let me see if I can give you a close-up. Look how refined that cabbage is. How thin. See that? Man, never mind your um, KFC already, right? My hands is clean. Don't worry, guys. So, they brought me the smallest carrots they could find. I want I wanted the baby carrots, but I want like the little fat short plus one. Coleslaw right now. So I'm gonna take a lot of, of these little bitty look at these little bitty carrots. Pray for my fingers, y'all. And cause normally if you just have like if you use one carrot, you use one whole carrot in this recipe. Or if you um got the little short fat carrots I'm talking about, you need about maybe three of those. I'm trying to make up so, <laughs> y'all, I, oh man, pray for me. And look, I'm trying to wash my fingers. You know, we gonna work what we got. I ain't ordering nothing. Else. So when it get to the tip like this, these little curves, I'm going to the side, baby. I'm going to the side. And I don't even know if it's shredding. Yeah, it's shredding the way I want to. But it was shred more if I had the right size carrots. So, and I started getting a big carrot, so but I didn't want that whole pack. I could have got, if I was at the store, maybe I could have picked up just like one carrot. But I didn't, I didn't have the need for all those carrots. So that's why I said, you know, I get the baby carrots and call it a day. But pray for my hand, because y'all know this, this thing right here, this particular shredder can be a beast. So, yeah. And yes, yeah, stuff is gonna pop everywhere. You're gonna have cabbage and carrots. Honey, it's gonna be a cleanup, okay? Uh, let's see if it's working out. It's working out, but I'm gonna do a lot of these carrots. <laughs> you hear me? Just to get a, a nice amount. And then I can't do them all the way to the end. Like, I can start, mom, do not wanna scrape my finger. Look at that. Okay, so we're gonna do these carrots and be back. So, Soul Squad, I'm not gonna lie. I use about 20 of those little teeny carrots so I could get this result. But remember, if you got the big carrot on deck, you don't need but one carrot. One head of cabbage, one whole carrot. I just didn't want that whole thing of carrots. I don't know what I was thinking. And all you need is like a quarter onion, a half, uh, um, a half onion. So we about to peel this onion. Let me push this to the back. But I, I just imagine I just I just cleaned up a whole bunch of carrot stuff. So this is a sweet onion. I topped out to get a sweet onion. Because that's what I that's basically just what I wanted to use. Um if you got a regular yellow onion, um you can use that. I mean it's your cabbage. Do what you want to it. If you want to use a um I guess a red onion to pick colors to it. You know, everybody make their food different. It's your kitchen your way, my kitchen my way. That's just what I'm always going to tell you guys. I, did you see what I just did? And that's just to pull the layer off. And then I didn't even do it that way. <laughs> but I know me do it like that, man. Come on, cook it. Make up my fingernail. Okay, I couldn't grab it. I grabbed it now. I may, I may, have, I may not did the cut deep enough. Yeah, so I'm just gonna grab it just like this. Look at that. And there you go. I don't know what's wrong with me. Why it didn't work. So, I'm not gonna use, I'm gonna cut my onion in half. See all that onion juice? This is, I don't even think this is a half. I don't even think this is a half of onion. Now, I'm not even going to use this. But you want that onion flavor. And the onion juices, it helps. So, I'm just going to shred. Ooh. Hmm. There you go. No shredding the onion.
That's all the onion I'm using. Just a quarter of onion. Now that some of these big pieces that fell in, I'm gonna get them out. And that's all. Look how much onion I probably shredded in there. That's it. Now I need a whole lot. You wanna get all them onion juices. Take your hand up in there. Grab that onion juice. Okay. Take your hand up in there. Grab all that onion juice. And that's all flavor, guys. Remember, you cooking for your family. If I cook for someone else, you know, I'm gonna definitely have gloves on. These are my loins. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. That's about like, that's not even a tablespoon of onion. All that grated that I did, that's probably just all that is, is one tablespoon. Remember, it's up to you on how you and your family like onions. But I'm getting all the onions up in here, all the onions that was on here. I want all that onion juice, you hear me? All that. All right, so let me wash my hands. Clear this up, and that's about maybe a tablespoon of onions, guys, with all the juices and everything. Let me wash my hands, clear this up, because we're going to make our salad so, squad. This is what your coleslaw should look like. All shredded. Now, like I said, I guess about 20 of those little carrots, but it, it, it stood out, and about a tablespoon of um, shredded onions. And so, yeah, look at that. That coleslaw is very kind of look. My sister, that looks good. Yes, it does. We're going to put together um, the dressing now. So we're going to set the coleslaw to the side, place it in the bowl, and we're going to put the dressing together. So that one big cabbage made a nice size bowl of coleslaw, y'all. So we good. All right, so Scott, let's get ooh, this um, dressing started. In case I don't put it, place it in the description. One cup of your favorite mayonnaise. I told y'all we use craft in here. So it's one cup of your favorite mayonnaise, okay? I'm trying to scrape it out. Scrape it out. And it's uh let me get, it's going to be a quarter cup of buttermilk and a quarter cup of regular milk. But let me see something real quick. Okay, y'all had to make sure I had the right measuring. Okay, so there's going to be a quarter cup. That's one fourth cup of buttermilk, one fourth cup of whole milk. So I'm going there right now. This is my one fourth cup of whole milk. We're gonna stir it, shake up your buttermilk. Now you gotta shake buttermilk up. One full cup of buttermilk. Okay. Now we're gonna use three fourth cups of sugar. I couldn't find my three-fourth cup. I don't even know if I had a three-fourth cup. But if you know your measurement, it's going to be three-fourth cup of sugar is just um, one-fourth cup plus two tablespoons. It's going to be one-fourth cup plus two tablespoons. And that makes three-fourth cups of sugar. So it's going to be one-fourth cup, right? And then it's going to be two tablespoons. Or if you don't have that one fourth cup, it's going to be six. It's going to be six tablespoons. So, three fourth cups of sugar equals six tablespoons. Or it equals one fourth cup and two tablespoons. It's up to you on how you, on how you do it, okay? Now, we're going to go in with our vinegar. And the vinegar, and it has to be white. Vinegar, what I do with my vinegar? You have to be white vinegar, and that's gonna be two and a half tablespoons. So it's gonna be two and a half tablespoons. So it's gonna be one tablespoon, two tablespoons, 
And I got a half a tablespoon on here. And this is going to be, make sure you have better study hand than I do. A half a tablespoon. Two and a half tablespoons of white vinegar, guys, okay? And one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper. Not a lot of salt, not a lot of pepper. So it's one fourth teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of pepper. And I'm using my one fourth teaspoon. One fourth teaspoon of salt. One fourth teaspoon of pepper. That was my pepper. Now I'm going in. I'm not even going to do my salt on top of it. One fourth teaspoon. Ooh, I dropped the salt. A uh, salt. And guys, and it's a squeeze of half a lime. Now, I got this dressing recipe. I just use my mother's dressing recipe. But you know, my mother just was sugar and mayonnaise. <laughs> But people love it. <laughs> that sugar and mayonnaise is made with love. But you know, over the years, things, you know, <laughs> things happen, things get advanced. So we're going to use a lime, not a key lime, but a half a lime, guys. A, ha a half a lime. And I got my lemon squeezer. So. Squeezing this half a lime. And there it is. And this is. That's my dressing. It's that simple. I'm not even gonna repeat it here. I'm just gonna put it all and you're gonna stir it all up. I'm just gonna put it in the um the, the script in the description. And let me get it. I don't have no more risk. So I'm stirring it up. And let me get it all whisked together. You got a whisk, y'all? Get your whisk. But well, I don't have no whisk. I got to get me some. And let me stir it all up. Okay, guys. You need a whisk. Because you want to get these lumps out. I would have found my baby whisk. Because <laughs> that food wasn't making it. There we go. You need to get that mayonnaise stirred up in there. I had to go find my baby whisk. There we go. And guys, and I did, I used a half a line, but I used the whole line. And if you want to think you need some more salt and pepper, you can taste it once you get it all together. Yeah, see, yeah, there we go. Oh, that smells good. See, you gotta get these lumps out. Huh, you got this so all work in. I said, I know I seen a whisk around here somewhere, y'all. It took me about five minutes to find it. I said, I ain't going back. That's who I got my whisk. I said, because I ain't got a big whisk. I got a baby whisk. I know she do. Ooh. That tastes amazing. Okay? That's what this recipe going to be. Like I said, this, this dressing is not my dressing recipe. Ooh. Y'all, that dressing recipe is amazing. Okay, y'all ready to pull it on top of the right, coleslaw? Guys, here's my coleslaw mix, and we're just going to pour the dressing on here. Look at that. When I tell y'all, this dressing is good. Oh, my goodness, this dressing is good. And all you're going to do is just stir it up. I'm making homemade coleslaw, y'all. Y'all better stop and ask somebody. Man. And it's not dry. It's just enough dressing to make it nice and soupy and everything. Hey, tell Poo Poo come in. I need him to try this. Y'all, I got to get my son to try this real quick. Yes, okay. It smells so good. Can you guys see that? It makes just enough mix. That dressing is bomb. Oh, 
All right, y'all, we gotta clean this mess up. Put some full on it. And, yes. Can you guys see? I'm sorry, mommy. I did not use your dressing mix. <laughs> I did not use your dressing mix. I think it's my new dressing mix. <laughs> Ma, don't come after me in my sleep, girl. Oh, this thing is so good. I don't care if that's different. Because he ain't want to say no carry, y'all. So I let my son taste my coleslaw. What you say, boo? Mm, what you say? That's bestseller. <laughs> he said, you open so boo. That's right. No, the other part is better than who? Uh, that's better than KFC. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. He tastes the flavors. No, he tasted one, then he tasted two, then he tasted three. He said, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, y'all, ask him who he thought he was playing with, boo. Who you thought you was playing with, boo? You ain't been playing with me. I'm so fatigued, boo. Stop playing. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, mama. I ain't used your dressing mix, but it's all good. We about to wrap this up. Put this in the refrigerator. Honey, I'm gonna put the ingredients down below for y'all sons to do the same to y'all. All right, we about to check on these baked beans. We about to move on to this fried fish, y'all. It's Friday. Okay, guys. Now, we about to do what? The cold side the refrigerator. The baked beans is almost done. All we gotta do is fry the fish, y'all. It's CGIF. Now, season your flour. Season your flour. I have my own seasoned flour, but it's not on the market right now. As I'm in hiatus. Uh, <laughs> but I hope we be back by time. Um, well, I'm trying to get it back by time. I don't know, y'all. It's a lot of things I'm working on. But until then, I can't give y'all what my secret ingredient is. Because this is my secret ingredient, okay? So I don't have to season my fish because I'm actually making my flour here on set. So. I got my secret ingredient mixed up already in my flour. This is onion powder. And the thing about it, somebody said, oh, you get away your, uh, uh, no, you don't know the amount. This is just like a little pan full. You don't know the amount. I got, got a pinch of grease on y'all. This is garlic powder. Now, this is not a salt, so yeah. And I'm doing this, I don't have to season. This is um, corn starch because you want to make it crunchy. Okay. We got some smoke paprika just to enhance on color. Okay. And we got some black pepper and I got my grease on. We got some black pepper here, okay? Hands and wash. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna mix up my, this is my seasoned flour, y'all. And remember, before you put anything in this, guys, taste your flour. Mmm. Oh, yeah. You can taste your flour, but no meat has hit it. Mmm. Oh, yeah, that's on point. Y'all can't wait to get my seasoned flour back. This flour is ready. If you make a good, good powerful flour, you don't have to season your fish. But if you want to, make sure you season your fish and your flour. I pretty much make a good, strong flour, so I won't season my fish. I just have to use this flour. So the grease is getting hot. I'm gonna go get my fish, put these ingredients back, wash my hands, and let's get ready to fry some whiteies, y'all. All right, guys, we got our fish in it. I am using whiteies. And I place them in my flour. And I think I get four fishes, four slices of fish in this um, deep fry that I'm doing. So I'm going to flour my fish, the front and back. I used to use a um, Ziploc bag. Y'all, your girl is all out, okay? So again, if you can't get your flour really, really seasoned, make sure you flour season your fish and your flour. But I don't have to do that. Cause I season my flour so well that it comes straight through. All right, y'all. 
Yeah, I'll get all four of these in here. Woo! No problem. Look at that. Cook hard. Okay, so squad, the baked okay, beans, the baked okay. beans is done. They looking good. That's my granddaughter in the yeah. background. We're going to put a plate together because I got some yeah. fish done. I got some baked beans is done. Yeah. The coleslaw is done. And everybody in this house is just like ready to eat. So let's put this plate together, y'all. So y'all got some fish done right here. Got some fish cooking. Yeah, we about to make a plate, y'all. Y'all ready, TG? I Okay, guys, we about to end this video. Why oh, my ears sound stopped up? I've been swimming. Some of this good old. My kids love the soupy. So if you don't like it that soupy, you can always add like some extra, you know, oomph to it. But they, 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 they like that. Okay. So we got this. Okay. We got some baked beans. Then we got the big bees eyes. They came out so amazing. Yeah. <laughs> not too dry, not too all juicy all over the place. A little bread. Mama, you're so genius cooking on your video. Thank you. Come pieces of fish. Okay, look at that. That's dinner, y'all. That's dinner. Let me show y'all what it's looking like close up. Look at y'all. Baked rain. Coleslaw. It's Friday. Comment below what you eat this Friday. Who want to play to this? My family about to eat, y'all. Okay? Go check out and talk to see vlogs. Go check out You Are Not Alone. That's my other channel. Go check out my sister, New Life Journey. My son, The Cookie Guy. And to our next video, Soul Squad. I am Mal. This is we eating on a Friday. Everything came out delicious. Okay. My son told me I need a bottle of coleslaw. <laughs> I love it when the plant comes together. <laughs>